Now here's what the tires and wheels look like with the rear fender placed on it. Now these, I'm going by the gauges in here, these have little rubber grommets here and here and they're gonna they're gonna fit okay right there also on the front it's up a little tiny bit right here a grommet goes there if I had to I could sipe these edges cut it a quarter inch off here and a quarter inch off this side because this is this looks like it's hitting a little bit on the on the interior up in here but I can fix that by using some washers and raising the fender by about an eighth of an inch so you can see it starts to go up and I think it'll take away that problem or what I can do is um, sipe the inside of these these tires here that's one thing I wanted I wanted um, tires with no shoulders this is a shoulder right here it's squared and I didn't want a squared edge but other than that it looks like it's going to be okay I don't know what kind of performance it'll have because the tires are bigger as far as uh, it's more mass more weight the size is about right which is 15 inches across it's very important And like I said, I can raise the back fender a little bit without hurting anything. What I'll do is I'll take it out and run it. And then I'll take the, the rear fender off and I'll look for any kind of interior rub marks. Because you got to remember, it, it pivots on this axis right here. So the back is pretty stationary. <clears throat> And I, I hope these tires work. They kind of look clunky, to tell you the truth. I mean, I'm just not... They look like they're too big for the fender. Maybe it's just because I'm used to the other tires. And... But if these replacements will work, and I can make them work, then that's fine. Maybe I'll get better stability out of them. So we've got high performance lawn tractor tires, not for highway use of course, on the back. And we have the high performance Pirelli P7 SR some, I don't know. Anyway, this is a Pirelli on the front. And of course that's a that's good tread right there. Shocks have all been rebuilt. The I'll show you how to adjust these brakes really quick, like your rear brake is up here. Now you can't adjust this one. I wouldn't bother with this. We have to adjust both tires, rear tires to this. Now if we figure that this is a splitter right here, this is your brake, it goes in and it splits to your right tire and your left tire, here and here. Now we don't know how far the brakes have run down and we don't know how far the rims or the um, hubs have worn that's no problem what we want to do is adjust the brakes whatever you have so that when you pull on that lever right there that both tires will have the same amount of pressure and your adjustments are right here and right here now I'll show you how you do this it's very simple you do it on the front tire also what you do is you don't play with that lever up there at all you jack up one side with the tire on it, alright? You spin the tire. As you're spinning the tire or the wheel, you start tightening the, the brake adjustment. When the wheel stops spinning and locks up, that means that your brakes are too tight. Then what you do is back that off by one or two turns. This is down here. Until it moves freely. Then we put that tire down, come over here, lift this tire up, do the same thing. Tighten your brake all the way up till the tire is locked. And then back it off to until the tire spins freely. 
And once you've done that, then you've adjusted both brakes perfectly to the lever. Now it's the same with the front here. The best way to do it is to lift the front wheel off, get it to spin, tighten up your brake right here until it locks up. After it locks up, back this off one and a half, two times until the wheel spins, the wheel spins freely and you've got it all adjusted. So the gyro project continues. I think these wheels are going to work. They're just almost... They may have a little rubbing problem on the inside. But then again, uh, they are going to wear down a little bit, but they won't wear down on the shoulders. Maybe I should see if... Les Schwab could sipe the insides of them a little bit. Just take an eighth inch off of here. But we'll see. I mean, it's all experiment. That's that's the fun part about it. I wish that the um, you can see the tires. They go directly right underneath here. This is going to be a little problem right here for mud and water, because as the tire spins, it's going to it's going to throw up water and everything onto the top here, right with that edge. But that's just one of the small prices you have to pay to be able to find tires for it. And I don't know if these tires will work any better. They may be for my 210 pound fat ass. But we'll see. So the tires have been installed. New tires. And I hope that for gyro owners uh, you could get some good advice by someone who's already done it. And I won't be able to run it until another probably a couple of months. When it gets nice out over here. But in that time I'll be putting on new stickers and clearing all the panels and having it look really nice okay